All right, what's going on, everybody? So these are two zombie invasion matches. Um, I did edit the videos down to make the, you know make them shorter for the sake of time. I already showed you from the perspective as you playing as the zombie um, in my previous video, where you have to go around killing the humans um, that are trying to destroy the nest. Now in this video, you are the human and you're trying to destroy the nest. Uh, but unfortunately. Um, for the sake of the entertainment in this video, the guy who was playing the monster wasn't very good. Um, excuse me, the monster, the zombie. Speaking of that, uh, Evolve actually comes out tomorrow. Now, shockingly, I'm usually very good with my release dates and knowing when video games are releasing, but I had no idea Evolve was coming out tomorrow. I don't know how that release date just like slipped past me, but you know, I'll be playing Evolve. Uh, you know, to, should should release on Steam tonight around. 12 or 1 but yeah I'll be playing that um, you know after it releases uh, but getting back to uh, this game yeah the guy who was playing the, the zombie wasn't very good um, and he didn't put up much of a challenge especially later on when fortunately I am joined by a few other players because like I said this mode is more fun when you have uh, you know players other players with you it started out as a one versus one situation but pretty soon I get joined by one player who helps me out and then um, I get we get a full room, you know, of players, four players plus the zombie. But I was, as you can see, I was taking on that guy uh, pretty well by myself, who was playing the zombie. And there's the character, there's the uh, player that joined me. Um, and his problem was, you know, people think being the zombie just means attacking mindlessly. No, but there's some strategy to to it. Uh, you can't just attack head on. You know, you can't be direct. You actually have to be very indirect and try to flank the humans and and attack them from uh, the back and just wait till they're distracted. Wait till they have their guard down. Uh, whether they're distracted by zombies or you know zombies on the ground or something else, you have to wait. You know, you can't just attack head on. And that was this guy's problem. That's why he wasn't a very good zombie. Um, but yeah, this uh, I had a lot of fun in this match. Uh, you know, it just. It helps if the guy you're playing against does actually put up a challenge, which this guy didn't. So, you know, but uh, it, it was still a fun match, um, you know, playing with others. Like I said in the previous video, there does seem to be a problem, uh, a little matchmaking problem in which the game will uh, put you in a new game, you know, one versus one versus a zombie or one versus one versus a human, rather than put you in a game that already exists. And the zombie was actually able to down me this one time, uh, but he got killed by my um uh by my teammate there uh and he was able to revive me so he actually did you know he was able to get a kill but it was because i was on low health and that's why you know you need at least as i said in the previous video you need at least one other player with you and this was a rare glitch that happened in the game right as you can see the knight just disappeared and the the cycle just like went out of whack in the game you see it went from night to morning to dawn back to night again it was just it was obviously a glitch a rare i guess bug in the game i've never seen it before while playing online and yeah this 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 hunter just this night hunter just continues to attack head on um when that's not the way you do it uh you know but that's why it's ideal to have at least one player with you uh one to uh you know one to pretty much watch your back. One to you know look in both directions, know where the zombies coming from. One could attack the nest. One could you know protect. So that's that's why it's ideal. Now four versus one, four versus one, in, you know, is actually a little bit unfair, honestly, unless it's one of the leveled up zombies. You know, uh, so this was the second match, and I was actually hoping we would get a different guy playing as a zombie because this guy wasn't very good. But uh, it's the same guy, so we dealt with it. So, you know, in this type of situation, that's why I think you actually do need a leveled up zombie, somebody who has a leveled up zombie, because they are really challenging, even with like three players. Four players, I think it's pretty, you know, it's definitely doable. Three players, doable. Two, it's, it's still a challenge. Three, is it's even still a challenge if you have somebody who's really good at playing zombie. But, you know, with the co-op and, you know, the multiplayer, uh, when you have a full room, that's where this game, you know, really shines. It's just a really good experience, you know, as I said, the single player and multiplayer. So much that, you know, I didn't think I would actually want to or be interested in buying the season pass for this game. 
you know, prior to playing so much of it. I, I did, you know, I was one of the people who had faith in it and thought it would be a really good game, but I would never think that I would, uh, you know, be interested in buying the DLC or the season pass for the game. So, you know, um, and wow, he just jumped right on that guy and stabbed him. Nice. Uh, so as you can see, it, it gets really fun when you're playing with others. But yeah, I really want to see what um, they released the modding capabilities for, uh, you know, people who want to mod the game and make it more difficult. So people have already started modding the game on PC, uh, presenting more challenges and, you know, way more interesting things. And, um, you know, the season pass, I don't know what exactly will come with the season pass. Hopefully some, uh, hopefully some, um, more co-op specific missions, probably some, you know, single player missions, definitely. Uh, maybe, maybe, and even, maybe even more multiplayer modes. You know, uh, we'll just have to wait and see, but, you know, I think Techland really established themselves really well with this game, that they can really do something, uh, you know, really good. And it's very likely there will be a sequel to this game. Uh, that, that's pretty much likely with the way the game ended. It's almost guaranteed there's going to be a sequel. Um, I do want them to possibly, after the sequel for this game, move on, uh, move away from the, you know, zombie apocalypse uh, melee first person genre. Um, because I think after a lot of trial and error, uh, they, you know, they got it really, they got it really good in this game. But, you know, zombie games now are kind of like not exactly but there it's getting to the point where it was almost like for when first person shooters were you know saturating the market uh so much where every developer was trying to release a first person shooter whether it was good or bad um because that was selling and you know i would say most of the zombie games that are released are are actually good games right so at least they're not complete crap but you know we don't want too much of them because then it's gonna uh, begin to feel real stale and fatigued so I do want to see them move on from you know uh, the, the zombie apocalypse theme uh, after the sequel to this game I want to see what they're really able to do um, so yeah guys uh, I definitely recommend if you got dying light which you you know should get dying light because it's a great game um, I highly recommend you try out the multiplayer. This was one of the few scenarios um, in games where I didn't go straight to the multiplayer because I was so, uh, I guess, enamored with the, uh, you know, single player. But um, I was actually impressed by the multiplayer also. It's a good time. Uh, so, yeah, let me know what y'all think. I'm out of here. Peace.